Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Walgreens and their point system and just a couple helpful tips and tricks. So a lot of you who have been doing uh, the different boosters in the last month or even in the last week, um, you might have accrued a whole lot of store points. Now, common questions I get, can I have more than $50 on my store card? Yes. It can be unlimited. As you can see, I just Googled an image here and somebody has $155. If you wanted $1,500, that's also totally doable. I would recommend not going over 500 or not even going over like a couple hundred. Um, just because I have some points here at the end of the video. But before we even get into even more talks about all of this, let's talk about the difference um, between... Um, rolling points, buying stuff, spending stuff, and how you can maximize all of this. So if you look at this little first slide, it says a buy scenario at Walgreens, you can roll points and you will be awarded points back. So if you have accrued a whole bunch of points, what I would recommend for deals like this in the future, spend them. Why not? You can get a whole bunch of stuff for free and this is how you can build your stockpile for like nothing. So um, for a buy scenario, by all means, pull the trigger and go for it. Um, and when it says buy two, get back 4,000 points, yes, you can roll those points. And um, it's fantastic. I mean, it's absolutely great. Now, for, the, for this next scenario, um, again, you're purchasing an item and then you're getting back a physical register reward. So if you wanted to use some of the points you have accrued for this sort of deal, by all means, pull the trigger. This is a sneak peek for a deal that's starting on Sunday over at Walgreens. So hopefully that's crystal clear. If you have either a buy scenario where you can earn points or something like this, where you can get a register reward, those are two excellent ways to burn through your points um, and to get something for it. And then again, you will in turn use these for different deals over at Walgreens but this is how the cycle starts and this is how you can get stuff you know for free and accrue a lot of it okay guys so this is what the grid looks like a thousand points is a dollar two thousand is two bucks three thousand is three pretty straightforward when you get to twenty dollars it's eighteen thousand points is twenty thirty thousand points is thirty five forty thousand points is fifty so when you spend the bigger amounts, it's lesser points. Pretty simple. So say you have been accruing so many points and you really want something, makeup for example. You want $50 of makeup. You would collect $50 of makeup at the store. And um, when you get to the cash register, say to your cashier, I would like to use $50 of points. And she would subtract $40,000 from your store card very easy um but i would you know i'm going to explain this at the end of the video at least keep at least forty thousand on your store card if you're an extreme couponer because you're going to need those points to for future deals and you know if you want stuff to keep rolling for free stuff you're going to need this to play so hopefully that's crystal clear but just say you want to go use that um the 40,000 points you would just ask at your store and they would just subtract it from your store card. Many people have written me or left this in the comments. That's why I'm explaining it in these terms. Um, so for more advanced shoppers, apologies about this video, but that's why I'm making it so transparent with this grid. So um, yeah. Now these are just a couple of little points I wanna to throw to you guys. Um, if you are a serious couponer, I think you need at least 40,000 points or $50 on your store card at all times. Not negotiable, you'll need at least 50 bucks to do some of the deals that I'm talking about. And that's $50 comfortably. If you wanted to have 60, 80, that's cool. But you know, I see a lot of people that have like $500 plus of points or they might have like, I've even seen somebody with I think I saw somebody with like $4,000 of uh, Walgreens points. And I'm going to say, you know, if you have that many, it is time to spend. I know a lot of us like to look at stuff, add up like a bank scenario. This is not your 401k. So if you had like $4,000 of Walgreens point, spend some of them. You can spend them in $50 denominations again, and you have up to one year to, to use them or they will expire. So they made that change about a year ago over at Walgreens. So if you're thinking, hey, I'm just going to hang on to my points for the next 20 years, uh-uh. You have to at least roll them or use them um, somehow or they will expire. And how to check is they will probably send you... Um, 
either a message in your app or something like that saying, hey, you have X amount of points expiring. I have never seen that note because, you know, I shop there quite a bit. It's mostly for people that don't shop there a lot on the regular, but if you go in there all the time and roll a lot of these deals, you probably will not have um, points that have accrued that are expiring. So anyhow, guys, I hope this video was helpful. Um, you know, like a really great game of poker, you have to know when to hold them, when to use your, um, your cards. And I would say um, at least keep $50 plus of points. And then if you're into the two, three, four thousand dollar neighborhood, you might want to consider spending a couple of them, stocking up on paper products, stocking up on something. Um, but you don't want to lose any to, you know, to an expiry or, you know, if something goofy would happen, if some of them would get deleted or something crazy, keep it written down somewhere and just keep an eye on them. Cause you know, when it's like, three thousand dollars of points i would definitely be in the store right now shopping and buying stuff so that's it for this video guys as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one